Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Okay, here we go. I got the 10 to 18 lens. Check this out. Ah, uh, isn't it glorious? I forgot how much you can actually get in the screen on this thing. It's fantastic. So I'm going to do the YouTuber thing and I'm going to make some coffee and you're gonna watch. But let's bring you over here closer. I didn't have you over here before because the dishwasher was going. So while we're waiting for my water to boil, let's talk about this 10 to 18 lens. As you can see, it is, it is spectacular. I am probably a ruler and a half away from this camera. I have it on 10, here's 18. So even, even with 18 and holding it in my hand, you know, that's a good bit in the screen, but when you go full on 10, even if I rest my arm on my freaking love handle and I, and I hold this right up, I mean, it's, it's not even a full ruler length away from me to the, to the tip of the lens. Look at how much is in the screen. I had a bit of a scare when I went to pick up the package. When they hand me the box, it was smashed. Like one corner, one end of it was just smushed in. And I'm thinking to myself, great, $900 lens and the box is smashed. Great. So I literally cut it open right there just so that I could open it up and see. I didn't have anything to worry about. It was almost annoying how much bubble wrap I had to cut away and, and, and the tape and everything. They used like three different sizes of bubble wrap and, and it was so, so wrapped up that I could have Ace ventura that damn box and it would have been perfectly fine. So way to go KEH. Now, one more issue that I had, and because that obviously wasn't KEH's fault, that was shipping. They have different levels, grades, if you will, for their equipment. I won't get anything below an EX, then there's EX plus, then there's like new, like new plus, and I, I think they might even have brand new, but I doubt it. Doesn't matter. The first 10 to 18 lens I got a while ago was an EX lens grade, and it was in like immaculate condition. I mean, you don't get the box, you don't get the papers, but who gives a shit? You know, all you care about is the lens. So I got the lens, it had the caps and the hood and everything, and it was in really good condition. This time I paid for an EX Plus, and while the lens itself was in good condition, the hood had deep scratched grooves and, and roughing on, on one of the pedals that, that clearly it got dropped, dragged, something. I mean, hardcore, because those grooves were really deep in there. I was not happy about that, but when it gets right down to it, it's a lens hood. That's what it's for. It's to take that kind of abuse. So I can kind of forgive them for that. And the fact that I paid less for this EX Plus lens than I paid for my EX lens last time. And regardless, it's still cheaper and it wasn't $900. I'm fine with it. I went around my place. I took a, a series of pictures and I took some video and pulled all that footage and the pictures off and looked and there, there's no like obvious big blemishes or shadows or floaters or, or any other weird shit going on there. So I'm fairly pleased with the lens and, you know, other than the, the box being smashed and scaring the crap out of me and the grooves on the lens hood, all I did was put a couple of my stickers over it so that I, you know, sort of can't see it. And I'm fine with that. This is afternoon coffee. And then I also let myself have two mini peanut butter cups as a treat. And now we head back to the office to finish up more work. As you can see at the full wideness of 10. It is just glorious. Here's 18. I'm sitting at my desk. The, the camera is literally like I can, I can reach the back without leaning forward. It's just amazing. And I don't need to keep showing you that, but it's just so cool. So there, I just zoomed out to 10. It is literally on my desk about a little more than a foot away from that wall. And you can see 
all the way out. I mean, you could almost see the freaking that wall. It's crazy. That's why I was a dumbass for selling that lens in the first place. And it's also why I reacquired another one. All in all, couldn't be happier. Now I can start vlogging again, you know, out and about with the A6600 and all as well. Now I still got to figure out if I want to sell that ZV-1. Still not completely convinced that I'm going to sell it, but I don't know. We'll see. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.